What's the difference between change management and growth? It's about focus, and I'm going to tell you all about it. Hi, my name is Brad Montgomery from bradmontgomery.com. I speak to groups a lot about change management, and I'm telling you, one of the biggest things I learned can be encapsulated by comparing two of my recent clients. Let me tell you about them. First, they share a lot in common. Both are going through a lot of change internally. Their staffing is changing. Both of them are combining two organizations into one. Both of them have clients who are asking for different things, so they're having to adjust their product. And then finally, te technology changes. Both of them are going through some pretty big shifts regarding the, the way they run their business on computers. That's what they have in common. Let's talk about their differences. Company number one, they're fantastic. Company one sees all of these changes from their clients and their customers and their software as an opportunity for growth. They kind of have the attitude as, oh, this is a way for us to stay relevant and to stay meaningful. And if we can do that, be relevant and meaningful to our clients and offer epic customer service, guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna be successful in the long run. And this first client is rocking it. Their culture is fantastic. Uh, their profitability is crazy. They're growing, their staff, they're growing fast. Um, by all metrics, this company is rocking it. Now let's talk about my second client. Their strategy with dealing with change is apparently to freak out. Seriously, they're flipping out. One of the things they've done is they brought in a bunch of consultants, change management consultants, and they're measuring everything. They're surveying their people. Uh, who's ready for change? Who is most adept at change? Who isn't? What types of change do we need to, to deal with? What my second client has basically done is telegraphed to all of their clients and all of their people, their own people, the fact that they're freaking out. It is clear that this client is not embracing change and they're suffering. Productivity is down, profitability is down, their work culture is ridiculous and toxic. So here's the thing, change is just part of a people. If you are going to stay relevant and meaningful and profitable, if you are going to continue to serve your clients or customers, you're going to have to continue to adapt. It's just part of your job. And if you see that as an opportunity to, to grow, and if you see those different changes as just part of your constant adaptation, you're going to do great. Whereas if you focus on change and the chaos that it brings and the fear that it brings and the unknowns that it brings, you're going to give those negative feelings a voice in your culture and it's not going to go well for you. I don't mean to belittle change and oversimplify it. It comes down to this. Are you going to get behind the change and embrace it as something that you do, something that you can be good at, or are you just going to freak out? I can tell you this. One of them is going to be growth for you and one of them is going to be a toxic culture. You get to decide. Change is not easy, but it's simple. Get behind it. Move forward. You've got this. My name is Brad Montgomery. I would love to talk to you and your organization about how your folks can start to view change as an opportunity and a chance to excel as opposed to something to be stressed about. You've got this. Hope to talk to you soon.